Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass Hero, and welcome back to Stay. Previously, we got a shocking revelation. That electricity hurts! So, I've been away from this game for quite some time. Let's see if our protag is, crank frankly, still alive. Because I'm not sure how much the time... thing... comes to play. I noticed that the dialogue skipped forward. There's a lot of dialogue here that wasn't there before when I left. I find the cookies you hit the most are the only pitiful option for the whole supply of fortune cookies. Not to feed all of Asia and part of Europe, as I call bad eating habits. The whole cannabis thing makes more sense now. Lack of vitamins, proteins, and whatnot makes you do weird shit. Eat the cookies. What's the worst that can happen? They're a fortune cookie. It can make you hate me. Greatly. No thanks, I think I've lost my appetite. Seeing all those boxes tucked up, that just turns my stomach. Who feeds exclusively on a bit of flour, sugar, vanilla, and sesame seed oil with a piece of paper inside? I'm picturing someone with a mix of scurvy, pelagra, and rickets. A hideous, sickly creature. No cookies for me, thanks. You're right. Who knows what's inside that cookie? Don't ever accept treats from strangers. Well, we've already done a lot of damage to this. It's whatever. Who cares about Quinn anyway? we we'll just do this to be entertained. Thank you. For a moment I really thought I had no choice. I probably have no choice. I may regret it when I'm here drinking my own piss to stay hydrated. But for now I still have the luxury of refusing some moldy cookies. Anyway, after a close look I realized something peculiar. There's only one open box. And just a single fortune cookie inside. Damn, you don't even get the fortune cookies. What if he had a clue in it? All the other boxes are sealed and untouched. Search the pantry, or open another box? Search the pantry. I did a quick search. And like I told you before, it only has a huge stack of cookies. Enough to feed all the Central Park's pigeons. And a fortune cat greeting me. Not Oscar, one of those porcelain lucky cats. Oh, a lucky cat. That's good luck, eat the cookies. They're not poison. They're supposed to attract wealth and prosperity. No use for me here, unless... I'm here in exchange of a ransom. Good luck with that, ha! Huh. Anyway, all this leads me back to that single cookie. What should I do? Open the cookie. Cookie cracks open, it's like a Batman bomb. Oh no, laughing gas! Damn you, Joker! Okay then, first let me tell you a little story. You know the exact origin of the fortune cookies is unclear? Part, see, part of me wondering, is wondering if you locked yourself up or something and you don't remember. Because you, you take those pills. But they were most likely brought to the West by Japanese immigrants in the late 19th or early 20th century. The Japanese version didn't have the Chinese lucky numbers. And they were eaten with tea. Long live Wikipedia death to boredom. Yes, I'm delaying the inevitable. Want to know my wonderful fortune? It's a little bit of life philosophy in a bite-sized chunk, but this one brings more than just our fortune. ID. Hmm. It says I will die alone and poorly dressed. Well... That's pretty accurate, but that has nothing to do with the situation. Dang, the game cut me off before you gave me read his dialogue. 47% of the users, including you, have the, 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 the cookie. Um, um, um. Chapter 14. You know what? 
I'm not going to let someone. We never got their novel published, ended up getting a job that... Only requires two sentences per job. Okay. Messed my mind even more. Screw it. Screw this house. Screw everybody. Hey, that includes me. My current situation is a complete nightmare. What reasons are there to keep on going? It's manly senpai, well... I have to tell you something. Yeah, give me that lore. Give it to me, come on. Pour that lore all over me. I found two piles of pills in the bathroom. And didn't say a word about it. Why did you lie? Look at that branching. I don't know. I just felt I was supposed to keep it to myself. Or perhaps because I knew you wouldn't approve of it. Or just freak out and leave me. I'm sorry. Why did I freak out and leave? This situation has no bearing on me. I can just sit here and drink iced tea for all I care. But the thing is, I don't think I can do without it. Do it without extra help. I'm not okay. So which one is it? The blue pill or the red pill? Painkiller addiction or transparency? Come on, give me them positive points. Given the circumstances in which we met, I think I was even more transparent with you than I usually am with anybody. I didn't tell you about the pills because I didn't feel a need for it. it didn't seem to be valuable information at the time. But I regret it now, and I promise. I won't keep anything else I found in this house from you. Even those rare anime DVDs? Cross my heart, hope to die, stick me on my eye, yada yada yada. Did you check how much time Les left? Check the balls for clues? Good idea. You could have information about the owner. Let's see. There's only expiration date, nature of the pills, but wait, the bottom of the bottle. Has something scratched out. Like the owner's name was erased on purpose. It starts with a Q, like Quinn. And that's it. Thinking about it. I had two patients whose names started with a Q. One was Quincy, a really sweet but troubled guy. The other was called Quentin. Quite frenetic, but genius. And there's me, Quinn. Maybe they're just meant for me. You're doing good. Just to let you know, Quinn, that whatever those pills mean, you're doing really good about the awful situation you're in. Yeah, it's not bad. Give you a little better, Quinn. We'll give you about C minus. Thank you for those wonderful words. I know that most of the time I'm a little bit sarcastic. It may seem like I don't appreciate everything you're doing for me. I know you don't. But I am. I really am. Let's move on. See you in a bit. Seekers must be one of those people who see religious figures on toast. Not everything means something and that's a really good thing. So maybe time left was the right one. I feel like most of the time the ones I don't choose are the right ones. Let's run chapter 15. I think this goes to 24 chapters or so. 
You just cut me making a mental recap of what I gathered so far. I don't feel like we're, if there is a, a good and bad ending, because there's like seven endings listed, we're on a good track right now. I thought that's what I'm feeling. We're on a bad track. An open box, a weird book, and loaned gun, a cat that come and goes. Enough to start a new civilization with the expression day of a yogurt. I'm starting to understand how this house works. Things are not what they seem. There are places hidden everywhere. Wow, we. I wonder if you figured that one out. Was it the secret door you discovered in the beginning? I'm gonna stretch this place like a goddamn CSI team. I don't know if I'm unconsciously motivated by my appetite. But I can't seem to get out of this kitchen. Which could also be because there's something else. That I must uncover. Right in this part of the house. What about your family, Quinn? And we should find other rooms first. But we have not checked the kitchen fully. Then again, he could just put his hand on the, the fridge. No, don't put your hand on the fridge. I think I see something behind the fridge. No! Sneak, 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 sneak. Was it the catacombs? Wine cellar. Great, we have wine. Now we can solve our hunger problem. Go figure. There's a cellar full of wine. Wanna get drunk with me? Hell yeah. How of you though? You're a nerd. So about fighting this room. Has been the highlight of my time here. Well, next to finding you. Yes, you're important, as important to me as wine. Don't lie to me, Quinn. I know what I would answer. Take it as a mother of all compliments. I'm a sentimental dude, yes siree. Just wine? Nothing else? You have to realize how hard it was for me to not choose to drink some. Just, just wine, how dare you? I know, it's out of character. It's the most beautiful wine collection I've ever seen. The only thing that would lessen my hatred. For the guy who locked me in here. Hmm, next to some of the bottles was a table. There's some wreck stuff on it. And guess what number statue of another god? Bacchus, the Roman god of agriculture and wine, copied from the Greek god Dionysus. He was the last god to join the twelve Olympians, known as the Liberator, freeing from one its normal self by madness, ecstasy, or wine. His divine mission was to finish care and worry. You can't say he's not the best of the gods. This house has such a pagan vibe. I don't know what to think of it. A wine helper for monitors and stuff like that. If so, it's our remote control. Weird. Wine expert or press the button? Press the button. Press the button. You want to press that button. Yeah, mate, it's like we're both tipsy and empowered to take actions by booze. Well, in line with that, I gotta tell you something. You're amazing friend, and I really hope... We can have some, some fine wine together one day. The first is on me. If you're paying for the wine, maybe we can hang out for a moment. But past that, I won't want to be seen by you. So say if rich manly. My alter ego. Where are you even going, buddy? It's 
So there was a TV in here the entire time? Please don't blow up or something silly. Oh, it's like a, it's gonna be Simon Says or Bop It. Tough crowd. Be warned, there ain't no sarcastic laughs when it marks the table big enough to take us down. We'll prevail and keep what we're doing we love no matter what. Sorry. Chapter 16. I have not seen a puzzle in a long while, and I'm not sure if that's because of my choices or if that's just how the game is scripted. Wanna watch some TV together? Remote control turn this idiot box on. But it's only giving me channel zero. If I could get this thing to work. I'm so tired of staring at the screen statics at. I'll start hearing voices from it any time now. Oh god, it's a puzzle. What kind of puzzle? Who knows? Let's try 107. Truth or dare? Blue or red? Weird. What about the colors down here? 174. It's like a hearts. One eighty two. I have no idea. A webcam. I am watching you. One ninety eight. Have fun with me. Six six six. Drink. Ooh yeah. Damn. Two zero six. There's those. There's that color symbolism again. What was blue is true. For red is the snakes on the middle, right? Hmm. Let me make my eyes. It's one of those. Affinity symbols in the eyes. 253. Workaholic. It's Mickey Mouse. Ho ho! I think I'll 107 real again. Red is truth, blue is dare. 306. Colors. 309. There's gotta be something to do with the colors down there in the remote. Time, fast forward. Pyramids. E forty seven zero four four two five zero Tuxedo Octopus. Soy. Uh let's try 444. Four, four. Exit. 105. How many cubes? Eight. I'm a I'm a dinosaur. I, I goofed, I think. Chess. Looks like it might even say something. The cat. Let's try this again. Be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, seven wouldn't be right. 
Nine, rather. Nine. Okay. Two, one, four. Now let's get let's figure out these numbers. Nine. Whoops. I'm a dinosaur. Four. Okay. Three. Five. Oh boy. Well, if we look at the other patterns, we can clearly see that they are in fact colors, which is very important. Red, yellow, light blue, dark blue, yellow, red. Basically. So then it would go... Light blue... It's probably the yellow button right now, I'll tell you that. Yeah. It'd be yellow button. And then 727. So this puzzle, we can also see that the answer is, in fact, colors. Maybe shapes, maybe also colors. So from that, we can solve it. One blue is balanced with two reds. Reds balance with each other. Green is as much as two blues. So what's the last one that also balances? We have a blue and a red, and a green and a blue, and is that no good right there? That's way too much. We have a blue and a red, and a blue and a green. That's also no good. We have a red and two blues, and a red and a green. That might be the answer. It might be yellow again. I'll come back to that. And then you have two reds and three blues, and that's no good. So, it's yellow. Yay! Ow. Reveal this to me. Who? I knew it was ninjas all along. I have no idea what your handwriting says. I'm still not following. You lost me. Hey, it worked all along. I had a glimpse of some porn, some infomercials, and... Don't lie, you were watching My Little Pony. A close encounter of an analog kind of my dear Snatcher. Calm down, don't get all agitated yet. It still could be you, which we ordered a mask, it could be pre-recorded. It left me a video message, so you anticipate me getting this far. I don't know why I'm assuming it's a guy, but what did he say? First of all, he congratulated me for still being alive and well. No thanks to that fridge. How sweet. Sarcastic. And said that, like I could imagine, this is far from being over. And that's up to me to find my way out, and that won't be easy. And when I'm ready, we'll meet again. I can't wait. Oh, and he finished with some wise fought crap. Something like... If you're going through hell, keep going. I'm fucked. Someone put you in hell and wants to make sure it continues. Quinn's finger, things are gonna get harder. I'm a realist, Quinn. Feel the realism here. Maybe it's someone who knows me so well. They know that I deserve to be in a bad place. I'm telling you, it could be Quinn himself. He's doing this purposeful thing to get himself out of a rut. 
that may or may not involve trap fridges. <laughs> Once you hit that spot, is there a way out? A chance of being rescued or is it a hopeless fight? Are you doomed for good or is there a way out? Well, I'm talking about a way out. There's an entrance here in the total darkness. Is it Vacations in Hell Part 15? This is getting dark. I think we should think another way. It's all or nothing now, Quinn. Go! Don't look back! You're gonna hate me for that. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. Cool. Looks like an invitation to continue. At least I have a few more options at the moment. Not just one locked door or hidden exits. It's just starting to become much more open now. And with bigger choices come higher risk, I suppose. Here I go. Keep sending me good vibrations. Fool, the key to escape was behind the TV set all along. Is it gonna be the case? Oh no, okay, it's the camera pan somewhere really lower. Bacchus? Left or right? Truth or not? Hey, guess what? More doors. One is acrylic ornate. And the other one's really simply simple and dilapidated. What's behind door number one? And door number two? I feel like that's tied into the TV. I have the two choices. Have I got the slightest idea? There's an absurd two-headed stone statue. No, it's Janus. An ancient Roman religion and myth. Janus is a god of beginnings, gates, transitions, time, doorways, and passages and endings. He's usually depicted as having two faces. He looks to the future and to the past. In the middle of the doors. For some ways this feels like an edutainment game, rather. If it wasn't for like the electrical shock and the fridge thing, I would almost say like this is an edutainment game. What is he looking at? Friends and enemies, past and future? Look at me, look at the present! This gives me the chills. Is this some kind of challenge? I, I would think so, you've been getting challenges non-stop. 61% of users, including you, could watch on a row the death of Bambi's mother, Mufasa, and the first 10 minutes of up without shedding a tear. You're heartless. Nope, just a robot. Beep boop. Let's play. I feel suffocated in choices, options, possibilities. It's like Google search materialized into this evil house implying you have more results than you can handle. Where's the big prize? Behind the ostentatious, alluring, magnificent door number one? Or the uninviting, neglected, appalling door number two? Damn, every decision feels like an anxiety attack waiting to jump on me like a tiger. Where would you place your bet? I gotta think about this. Just because the phone had the truth and the left, maybe that's it. Dang it, that was on the right. No! Why is your number one on the right? Well, then again, your thing went up, so maybe that was the right one. We're at Queenness now. Welcome to the house of Megalomaniac. He decided to build a replica of a Roman fountain in his house. He must have said to himself. Nope, let's fix what ain't broken. Add boiling water. This guy must have really thick skin. There are several low-angled water jets. Strafing at a high speed. And I can see something shining at the bottom. 
Which is probably why I'm here. Is it possible that you chose the wrong door? This was the ugly one. Maybe the other one looked at Magnificent Oasis. I don't know which one I chose anymore. We're referencing waterfalls and food everywhere. What should I do here? Check the fountain. Don't put your hands into the boiling water. Avoid the shiny. I think. The door disappeared. Or at least I can't see it anymore. That's a little weird. I'm trapped in here and all I can see is this gigantic fountain. You know the saying. Nothing worth having comes easy. The fountain has some sort of mechanism on the outside. Maybe it's a way of shutting down this lava themed psycho spa. What should I do? Check the mechanism. We got the way to get to the bomb that fountain. I like that better than climbing into that boiling cup of water. Or soup of water, you said? It's a puzzle! Are we gonna solve it, Mr. Layton? <laughs> That's what I feel like my life is like now. But is that really the purpose? To give them all the orbs? It can't be, right? Or maybe I have to give this the orb, I guess. I mean, that'd be simple. Is that really it? Was it just that simple of a puzzle? Okay, no. Okay. I fought. Okay. This makes a little more sense. Give me them blues. No, this is... This is a terribly easy puzzle. Like, almost stupidly so. Okay, and then they're all gonna open up now. Alright, here we go. Here's a little bit more of a puzzle. Not a huge one, but... Thank you. Give the greens to you. Okay, and now we just need to exchange these. Do need to give you... We gotta get that blue over there. A little annoying. And this should work right here. There we go. Damn, for what if I was supposed to drawn, drown and melt at the same time? The mechanism turned on and stopped the waterfall and drained all the water from the fountain. Maybe we have to go for both doors at the end. And now the room is completely still and quiet, and there's a door behind the fountain. The glimmering object at the bottom of the fountain. Turns out it's a really nice suitcase with a shiny lock. A shiny unlocked lock. Finally, I catch a break. You opened up. There's that laughing gas we warned you about all this time. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Danger. Yeah, it's not a trap. Go for it. What could be the worst that can happen? Stop whining. It's not like you'll die. Okay, I'm on it. You're super thrilled about it. Never lose that enchantment in life. We know that we have to stay calm about everything that happens. This is a not so humble in this not so humble abode. Amazing! Even completely trying this found that can cause quite an impact. Insane. You can now time to open this briefcase and hope. It doesn't have a ransom note in someone's finger, or the laughing gas. I don't have anyone's body minus three to claim, anyways. 
Laughing gas, it was me, Batman. Okay, you're alive. You're fine. See, you don't have to worry. Hey, an ace of spades. L is circled. Earlier we saw something that was circled too. 52 cards in a standard deck, just like 52 weeks of a year, and if you add up all the symbols, equals the number of days, 365. Americans use the entire decks of Ace of Spades as a form of psychological warfare against their enemy forces. Yes, it screams death everywhere. L. ID. IDL? Was anything else highlighted with stuff? It doesn't really seem like it. Great, so much waste space wasted in a suitcase for a pathetic card. At least giving the whole deck of cards, I can entertain even more of some magic tricks. This is absolutely lunatic. I know manipulation comes in many forms. I know it's what it feels like to be tested and put for the psychological ringer. At least we sound an out of this world level. Whoever is doing this has a humongous need of being power and control. I can't do much for now except to follow all these mind and body games. I hope this leads somewhere useful, at least. Let's get to that door. And yeah, we just keep going deeper and deeper. So now we're getting to like Buddhism. Interesting. Most people chose door number one. Forty-five percent of users, including you, know that courage is being scared to death by selling up anyway. And it's also usually another man's code and not mentioning the source. I guess I chose door number two and didn't realize it. I probably misclicked when I wasn't looking. Well, maybe that was meant to be. Or did I choose it based on what the doors looked like? I don't remember now. What the shit? Guess what? Another room. A prayer room, of course. There's some statues, lots of candles burning, and a little fridge. Buddha. Buddha means awakened. A unique being whose knowledge of the secrets of all existence for this, his own intuitive wisdom taught the path to enlightenment. The basic concept of Buddhism can be summed up by the Four Noble Truths and the Noble Eightfold Path. This motherfucker's really rich. This must be the special place where he comes to beg for forgiveness. And drink refreshments. What are, what are we if we're not hypocrites? I'm wasting time that I don't have. I sort of feel really tired and frustrated. Don't know if I'm willing to continue on this never-ending tour. And patience is wearing thin. Check the fridge! No more fridges. Calm down and check the statues. Why did you go red on the statues? Fine, you could just die here. You went down the medium trust. What, are you sure about that? I'm in the maniac's house full of deadly traps under a funny business. Those statues are surrounded by candles. Do you really think it's safe? Do you think... Let me tell you what happened last time you checked the fridge. Let me tell you what happened. You died. You don't know it because you died. But I know it. I saw it. Check the statues. Okay then. You know I'm weak then. I always do what you tell me to do. Even means going against my gut feeling. Here it goes. Oh no! It was a trap! Because you were clumsy and dumb! That was hilarious. That was worth it. <laughs> that was worth it. That was worth it. <laughs> It wasn't even a trap. It's just he just walked up there and he just knocks it over because he's just clumsy.
In that situation, you don't even have to trap it. You could just be like walking around someone's house with candles and like burn everything down. <laughs> You goofy from Disney? Well, gosh. Well, there's a lot of burning kettles here. I better not dock them. Whoa! Check the fridge. Don't ask me why I'm telling you to do that. Not like I saw you die horribly, person. You betcha. We'd never get past acquaintance, which is fine with me. I don't like Quinn. You could have just another chance of finding something to eat or drink. Cool, found water and some scout device. A scouter. What does it say about their power? L bar. Compass evokes in a symbolic way the idea of following the psychic course by an invisible node. However, near the magnetic poles, it's just deemed to be unusable. Just like our internal compass gets affected by proximity between conscious and unconscious, take us to a state of extreme disorientation. Makes perfect sense. I would also feel lost among all these statues and a sticky smell of incense. But Neil isn't functioning. It's probably frozen. Wait, there's a print map on the wall above the fridge with inscriptions on it. Oh no. Kanji? No. How do I move this? Is how this works? No, it starts somewhere else. One, two, three, four, five. So it's in the order. So... Language? You see, it's doing some kind of weird thing with the lights, too. I have no idea. And then what's this part here supposed to do? Like yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah. And then like this. Good. You have a compass. Congratulations. So the compass is back on duty pointing southeast. What do I do? Drink the water, follow the compass, do some meditation? Follow southeast direction, but don't drink the water. Great, keep on feeling thirsty and dry, but keep moving. You're mean to me. You don't understand my needs. This is feeling more and more like a toxic relationship. After this is over, I think we should take a break and see other people. How about we take a break right now? See you later! Great, you found graffiti. So I followed Neil and reached some sort of quarter of two square entrances on the wall. I put my head in both and saw nothing but complete darkness, like my soul. Looks like I have to enter one of them, but it's gonna be pure luck. So do me a flavor, flip a coin, tell me which one I should be ready to dive in. I got the coin right here. Heads for one on the right and tails for the one on the left. Yeah, you got heads. Increased our bond. We're not. I mean, we increased our bond before, then you touched the fridge and died. 
How's it feel to summon my fate simply by tossing a coin? My life is so meaningless, why not leave the chance? To make it more interesting. Life is but a gamble, let flipism chart your ramble. I mean, it seemed like it was fine, maybe. Who knows? Nice reflection there, buddy. It reflects your soul. Whoa! It led me to another room. Great, this house has more rooms than Buckingham Palace. Or, it has as many rooms as a place with a lot of rooms. I feel like I'm about to run into the Queen any minute now. A three percent of users, including you, also chose the fridge question chapter twelve. We're afraid there's some kind of behavior pattern, and you should seek for help. We don't seek help too. We're sure something wrong with you. Is how your life went downhill? <laughs> 